welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here hey I'm Emily and today we're gonna to be trying out something super different so I was scrolling on ASOS last week and I came across something that looked so cool and I was like well you know someone's gotta try it so it may as well be me I found Crayola makeup now I'm pretty sure I saw this the day it was uploaded because I went on the next day and there was like a ton more so I ordered it straight away and today we're just gonna be trying it all out now as you can see I've already got a base on I've just got foundation some concealer and lip balm and that's pretty much it so we're gonna go in and try and do the rest of my face with Crayola makeup. Now I feel like this is like the smartest thing Crayola I've ever done. Let me show you what I bought first of all. Let's do a quick haul. So firstly I got a makeup brush set and it comes in like a case. This is supposed to be like a pencil case kind of esque set which I get it. I get the themes. This is Crayola Beauty makeup brush set and case and it comes all like all the packaging for this is super cool. I just feel like they've absolutely smashed it. So I'm really like, I'm, I hope the product's good. So this is what it looks like. It's all like holographic, which is fun. And then you open it up and we have brushes. So I guess this could be used as like a pencil case afterwards maybe. I mean, the holes fit the brushes exactly, so I don't know, but oh, they say Crayola on them. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So it's like a little pencil brush, a blending brush, a cheek brush, and then this just looks like a slanted brush. So I don't know what you're supposed to use to uh, like, apply foundation or whatever but good thing we've not got foundation so this is the brush set and this was 25 pounds now 25 pounds four brushes seems like a lot like that's a lot of money and i don't even know if they're any good next up i could not help myself i've got an eyeshadow palette so this is the packaging again the most incredible colors so this is the mermaid palette and this was 18 pounds which i think is really really good so it's got some really fun colors in there they're all very shimmery like some like pinks, blues, purples, that green is gorgeous, wow. And it's got a mirror, so super useful. 18 pounds, I don't think it's that bad. Well, compared to four brushes for 25 pounds, this is really good value. So we will see if they are any good. Next up, I got a face crayon. This was nine pounds, and this one's in the shade Dark Chocolate. I originally got this because I wanted to use it as eyeliner, but I then come to realize that you can use this as like like on your face, on your cheeks, on your eyes. So I'm gonna use this as like an eyeliner and to contour, but it means I didn't get a foundation, but I just don't, how would you even apply foundation with something this small anyway? Maybe it would just be like to spot conceal or something like that, but they had quite a range of these, which was, you know, cool, but I just didn't realize they were for your face. So obviously not a wide enough range. <laughs> I grabbed a blush and a highlighter, both were 11 pounds. So the blush is this gorgeous kind of like shimmering, kind of pinky colour. Now I feel like this will probably look more like a highlight. We'll have to see. It's like really shimmery. This reminds me of the Topshop highlight kind of sticks that they did a while back. And then the highlighter, this one here. So this is called Sun Gold. They call them highlighter crayons. So, I mean, I get, I get the use of the word crayon, but they're more like a chubby stick. And I was kind of, oh, this one's broken. Okay. I was kind of hoping I could use this as like more of a bronzer. Oh no, no, that's a highlighter. Okay, I guess we're going for a super glowy look today will make it work but this looks very very cool it feels nice as well and it's shimmery i mean it's not that shimmery i you know i'd probably use this as like a foundation we'll see <laughs> of course i had to get some mascara this was nine pounds they had black mascara and then i was like that's so boring if i'm doing like mermaid eyes i should go for something fun so this was blue it's in the shade turquoise blue and it's a very skinny mascara like it looks like you should just pull the top off and it's a pen but i'm guessing it's a twist yeah it is so I don't know. I've only ever, ever been impressed with one coloured mascara and that's the Dior one. It's incredible. So, I mean, this, if this is good, then, you know, we're on to a winner, but we will have to see. And finally, a lipstick. This was £9. Now, online, this looked like my perfect colour. This is called Velvet Pink. And this is kind of like, this is the whole reason I wanted to do this video, because imagine walking around, all your lipsticks come off, whipping out a Crayola crayon lip pencil or lip colour. So this, I thought this would look like Max Mare. Oh, it kind of does. Okay, this this could be a winner. Like, this could be great. So I'm excited to put this on. It's, I guess it's a twist up. Yeah, it looks just like a crayon, you know? I love that. That is so cool. I really hope that, like, looks and feels nice on the lips. To keep things kind of in theme of the video, I wanted to try and just use the Crayola products and nothing else. So we've got four brushes to work with. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, they actually have labels on them. This is a blush brush, like an angled one. This is a highlighter brush. This is a, oh, eyeshadow, eyeshadow brush and this is a lip brush. 
Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use this for eyes, but okay. Which means I don't have a brush to blend this out. Okay. I'm gonna have to go get one. Don't worry, save the day, got one. Now I'm not entirely sure how necessary this step is because my skin's pretty dark today anyway, I've got a fresh tan on. So, we will see what happens. I, I really hope this works. So, we're just gonna do the whole kind of contouring. This is quite dark. I don't actually know how much I need and I've just kind of put like a lot on. <sighs> Okay, let's do some blending. It feels quite, like, not blendable. Mm. It's quite kind of cool, which, pros and cons. I mean, it's kind of blended out into nothing. But if I got, like, my shade of this, there's no way I'd have been able to put this on as, like, a foundation. Okay, so it's blending out okay. It's just not blending out into much. Like, it's just not doing much. I mean, I really don't feel like that's in anything at all. So let's try and save it, and we'll put it on my eyes as eyeliner and see if this works, because it, this could... Okay, it's not sitting on the waterline very well. Like, at all, it's just gone, like, under the waterline. I mean, it looks okay, but it's just not where it's supposed to be because it doesn't want to go there. I mean, I feel like that looks okay, but it's not where it's supposed to be. And I was gonna try and use this on my brows, but I just feel like that would go completely wrong. But let's try it. Because it, do you know what, to be fair, it does feel quite pomade-y and it's quite cool. So you may as well make use of it. Well oh, guys, don't use them for your face, use them for your brows. I'm actually really impressed with how that's worked on my brows. Like, obviously I don't have a spoolie or anything very precise, but considering I've just kind of gone about it, they look okay. Like it reminds me of that Maybelline brow product, but this feels really, really good and I actually really like the colour as well. Let's do the eyes next because I feel like that's the most exciting with this palette. I'm desperate to use this green and I'm desperate to use like this kind of light colour. So I might go like over the middle of the lid with this, do some of this in like the inner corner and then maybe like a purple in the outer corner. Let's try that. We'll kind of just, I'm going to start with the lighter shade. Now I don't believe these have names, which kind of sucks because Imagine naming these. So I'm just gonna go in on my inner corner with that really bright colour. Okay, that's showing up really well. But obviously I am using like quite a dense brush. Defo very mermaid themed as the vibe of the palette suggests. Right, right. <laughs> I'm gonna go in next with that green colour because I think this is absolutely stunning. I think this is my favourite colour out of everything that I got. I genuinely feel like I'm playing dress up with these colours. Like they don't, it doesn't feel like a serious makeup palette, if you know what I mean. So they've got like an eyeshadow brush to like blend out the crease, but they've got nothing to put kind of in the crease. There's no like matte colours. And there's nothing, I mean I could put purple in there, but then it's just a bit like everything, isn't there? Let's just go for it for mermaid vibes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this dark purple and pop it on the outer corner and then we'll blend it through the crease. Okay, well that's just disappeared. Like where's it gone? <laughs> it's actually gone, look. Okay, scrap that idea. <laughs> we'll go back in with some more blue. So my third is on the eyeshadow palette. It's not very pigmented. The colours are a bit chalky. And they're not, I was expecting like insane glitter, insane shimmer, insane colour, because it's Crayola. But I just feel like I bought a palette from like the pound shop or something and this was 18 pounds. That's so sad. I feel like the highlights is one of the most exciting things. So we've got a blush first. Let's apply the blush on my cheeks first. Now I've got a foundation on but I didn't put powder anywhere around my cheeks. So it's supposed to kind of go, okay, it's quite pinky. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of pop it on, blend it out my foundation brush. But I thought this would be, I mean, it is a bit light to actually wear as a blush, but it's got quite a nice reflect. But again, I feel like this would be more used as like a highlighter. Cause I'm putting it on the apples of my cheeks and it's just kind of highlighting them. Can you see that? Like I don't think I could get away with that as a blush. You can, you can barely see it, so that's a bit rubbish. But yeah, I would say you, you could get away with this as a highlighter, but not as a blush. But, so I get to test out the blush brush. I'm gonna grab this color from the eyeshadow palette and just use it as a blush, because why not? It's quite shimmery, but, oh, there we go. That's pretty. That's mermaid vibes. Okay, that, that is very cute. And on to the highlighter, so, wish me luck. Oh my gosh, it's so, like, bronzy. Not at all what I'd usually go for, especially with a look like this. 
I feel like this is just such a jumble of colours, so I thought it would all match. I'm gonna try and use the highlighter brush just to blend this cream product out. Oh, okay, this is working quite well, but not really given much of a highlight, like, at all. Especially for cream product. Normally, creams are, like, the way to go, but there's just not much there. Like, the other stick with that blush over the top has given more of a highlight than the actual highlighter. Like, I kind of want to go back in with this and then put the blush on top to, like, highlight. I feel like I'm just saving a disaster right now. I genuinely thought this would work and I feel like I'm being really, really naive. <laughs> okay. See, that looks so much better. I mean, it all looks rather crazy and now I'm gonna go put blue mascara on, so why not? Now, I hope this kind of matches the eye or at least adds some colour to the lashes because sometimes coloured mascaras, you just don't even see them. So that's what we're looking for here, whether this actually makes my lashes look blue. This is one layer. I don't know how well you can see, but my bottom lashes look so blue, but my top ones don't. So I'm going to go back in and just try and layer up a little bit. Because I feel like when one layer's on and it kind of dries, I should be able to go in with, like, another coat. And hopefully this will work. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with this. But considering I didn't curl my lashes or anything, you can actually see my lashes. And I think they look blue. Like... Yes, when I look down, they look kind of black and blue, but I think overall this has worked really, really well. Like, my lashes definitely look, like, if I had a plain makeup look on in this, you'd be like, oh my gosh, she's got blue mascara on, which is exactly what I want. So this is a winner. This works so well. Like, I'm kind of actually tempted to go and buy the black version because nothing makes my lashes look this good without curling them. But they look pretty good in my, like, standards. To finish this look off, we're gonna go in it with lips, and this is the lip colour in the Velvet Pink. I really hope this looks good. Oh, it's quite easy, because you can, like, line it with the kind of tip, and then you can kind of turn it this way, and then fill it in. That's cool. I love this. I would so wear this on, like, a daily basis. It was so easy to apply. It feels so nice. My lips don't feel dry. It didn't take, like, a ton of coats. Just literally popping it on was easy enough, and I think that is such a winner, that lip colour. So good. I mean, so this is the final look. I feel like the eyes just look a bit crazy, but they also don't look that intense. Like, the colour, this colour that I put all over the lid is, like, deep sea green, like, mermaid tail green. And it just looks like an aqua blue. It doesn't actually look... Like, it looks like I've used this colour on my eyes and not this colour. So that's a bit disappointing. This was gorgeous as a blush. And then, like, this colour is incredible in the inner corner. I feel like you could use that as a highlighter as well, that one. Let's pop it on. Grab my highlighter brush and we'll grab this one here. I bet this will look incredible. Yeah, like, look at that. Whoa. Like, that's mermaid. Like, that's cool. But it just, it just didn't live up to, like, the rest of the palette just didn't live up to this one shade. And it's a shame. The mascara is pretty cool. I am really tempted to buy the black one. Similarly, the lipstick was so good. My favourite thing in this whole thing. And then, do you know what? The brown crayon for my eyebrows, not that bad. I'm, like, kind of impressed with that. I think that's really, really good. So, that was me trying out the Corona makeup. Overall, I mean, the lip colours are fun. I feel like you can't really go wrong with them, but I wouldn't really recommend the rest. Like, it's fun, it's cool, but it's slightly gimmicky. But they nailed the lip colours. So, if you want something to show off your friends and just whip out your bag and people be like, no way, then get the lip colours. But yeah, this is the look I created. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up and I will see you later. Bye.